Hello, lovers of ROS. Today I'm going to show you a very interesting package called the RRT Exploration Package. It's a package uh, created by Hassan Umari, and I think that is very, very interesting. It has been um, created very, very well, very carefully, and it contains tutorials, examples, very, very well created package. What is this package about? It's about making a robot or a group of robots create maps of environments autonomously. So the, it, that, that is what is called exploration. The robots explore the environment for creating a map of the environment without having to command a person. So it's very, very interesting. It's very well created, this package. And I'm going to show you how to put this package into work in five minutes. So let's go. Here we have the two GitHub related to the package. The first one is the RTT exploration and the second one it's about the gazebo simulation files. For this we are going to use the, the ROS development studio and what we are going to do is to launch those packages in the ROS development studios. In less than five minutes it will be working and ready. So first let's go to our private section and create a new simulation. It's a gazebo 7 and let's call RRT Exploration and we can copy if you want uh, the RRT uh, da, 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 one single or multiple robots here just for our information and then create okay great here we have now let's launch it of course now this project in ROS development studio is empty so we are just going to launch an empty uh, project and we are going to populate this project with the RTT packages doing just a git clone you will see it's very easy so here the ROS development studio is starting booting up and uh, showing just a this is a shell package for the simulation and then the the console here will appear an empty simulation and here there is a notebook where we can do notes, examples, etc. So now let's go for, let me change this way and let me, yeah, like this is more clear for us. So let's go for the RTT exploration packages and check the GitHub of the code of the packages. Here you can have all the packages and all the files that contain uh, this nice package and let's copy the address for cloning and here small error whatever so let's go to the catkin workspace source here here we only have the simulation gazebo package that is shown here of course that is is just an example for empty projects we can completely delete this one for example i'm going to delete this and actually i'm not going to use it done so here there is nothing so let's clone here our RRT packages. Great. And now let's clone the other um, Git that contains the simulation files. Here, click in. Here, I have the address for cloning it. And we do the same. Clone. That's it. Now we have the two. Whoop, we have here the two uh, set of packages that RRT Exploration provides. Now, we, what do we have to do? Anybody? The answer? Of course, we have to compile. Let's go for it. So, in the meantime, this is compiling. So, let me ask you, for example, how is your family? Is everything okay? Yes. And the kids, okay, great. That's nice. So it's going to take a little bit. So I don't know what we can talk about. Maybe I can do some commercials about our products, uh, the construct, but oh, okay. So the time is gone. Everything is compiled. Great. We have everything compiled now. Here are our devil and build. Great, now. We have uh, this package has generated some messages, so we have to 
source those uh, messages wait no wait first let's relaunch this um, project and make it launch the proper simulation so for that we have this button here that is the relaunch button and when we press it then it shows us a list of all the launch files that have been created in this project the one that you have to launch are the ones here in the RTT, RRT exploration tutorials. Any of those. Let's go for the simplest. The sim single simulated house. Let's select that one and press run. So now we are going to have here the simulation. I can change the view for this one. We'll see bigger. And already running. So we are waiting for the visualization here. It's going to appear yes here it is and as you can see the packages are already generating messages here in the simulation this is something I don't know about the exploration packages great what is the simulation about is there is the kabuki robot inside a house but when we launch that specific launch file we also have uh, launched an RBS configuration that will allow us to manage the expiration package how do we see the rbase here well as you know you have to press here the graphics tools this is going to open a new window where we will see the all the graphical tools that have been uh, launched in this case is the rbase only so let me put it bigger great and here we have the the mapping that is generating the art RT exploration. So, yep, let me put it in the center. This has been automatically launched by the launch file that I have launched in order to create that. Great, you see, that simple it is. Now, let's launch the node for uh, controlling the exploration through RBS. So, for that, I have to source the messages as I uh, told you before. Source the devil setup.bash the new messages that have been created during the compilation great and now let's launch cross await launch and the package is called uh, RT, RRT exploration RRT exploration exploration and then single dot launch There it is. Now, uh, this package, what allow us is to go here to the RBS and publish four points. So we have to publish four points to define the area where the robot will be exploring. And then a fifth point that will indicate the robot to start um, exploring. So let's publish here one point. Here it is. Second one, say here. So one here, a fourth one here. So we have to find now all our area for exploring. And now let's provide a point to start exploring here. And here it goes, the robot. And then as you can see in Arby's, it's just starting to execute its excellent exploration algorithm and start to create in the map if we move back to the simulation you can see the robot moving around and of course following the the orders of the of the launch file and that's it that's simple you see in only five uh, minutes or less i don't know but uh, anyway you can save your program here by pressing save so this will save your simulation as RRT exploration with all the changes that we have done, the Geek clone, etc. Yes, I want to replace it. So now it's saving. In the meantime, the exploration is working in the background, of course. And I don't know what it's doing. You can see all the messages of the simulation here. What? Oh, wait. Here, yes, all of them. You can pause or clean at any time 
So that's it. I don't know what he's doing. This guy is generating some trajectories. Okay, so this is something related to the uh, RRT exploration itself. I'm not going to get into the details. But as you can see, the Rust Development Studio is very simple and very easy to set up a project that already exists and start working. Now, with this work already uh, saved in the Rust Development Studio, you can share this. You can update at any time because it's Git compatible. You can do, if any modifications are performed here on the RRT exploration, you can update them from the Rust Development Studio. And then, okay, so that's it. I hope I convince you that it's very convenient to work online for ROS development. And then I would like you to, if you like this video, to ask you for, to subscribe to our channel for more interesting videos. Thank you very much for your time and I'll wait for you here for the next video. Cheers.